everyone, my name is Claire and today I'm going to share with you three counting nursery rhymes we can all do together. And since I'm used to doing story times and including an early literacy tip, that's what we're going to do today. So today our special tip is a reminder that repetition and language patterns that we find in nursery rhymes, for example, help with children's cognitive development and their ability to memorize and predict what will happen next in a song or a story. All right, so today we're gonna get started with five little ducks. So we need our hand and our counting fingers. And I also have a special guest with us today. I have a duck puppet that I'm gonna use as our mother duck. So if you have a puppet at home, you can grab it. You can really grab any toy or stuffed animal. You can even draw a duck if you wanna act out our nursery rhyme. Okay, I'm gonna put her down here until we're ready for her. Okay, so let's get our hands ready. There we go. Okay, our nursery rhyme goes like this. Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came back. So we have four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. So we have one little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 but none of her little ducks came back. Now she's a little sad. Sad mother duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. And this time, all five of her little ducks came back. All right, that was a cute one. All right, we'll put our puppet friend away for now. And we're gonna move on to our second nursery rhyme. And this one is called, Here is the Beehive. All right, so we'll do this one two times. This first time, we're gonna need a fist and have your hand ready, your other hand. So it goes like this. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where no one can see. Watch and you might see them come out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> They're alive! That was cute. But since I can't resist a prop, for our second time, I'm gonna use this little beehive toy because it also comes complete with five little bees inside. So I had to use it. But again, if you're at home and you don't have your own prop beehive, you can use any little toy or stuffed animals and maybe put them in a box. Or you can draw your story. Okay, are we ready? Okay, it goes like this. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where no one can see. Watch and we'll see them come out of their hive. We have one, two, three, four, and five. 
They were alive. That was cute. And we're ready for our last nursery rhyme today. This one is called 10 in the bed, but we're a little short on time. So we are gonna do five in the bed. But of course at home, you could do however many you would like. And this one, sadly, I don't have a prop for. We're just gonna use our hand and our fingers. Okay, it goes like this. There were five in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. So how many do we have now? Four, there we are, four. There were four in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. How many do we have now? Three. So now we have three in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. All right, who knows how many we have left? Two. All right, there are two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. All right, how many do we have left now? Just one little guy. There was one in the bed and the little one said, ah, oh, alone at last, good night. That was a cute little funny one. And you can always put your own little spin on the ending. And of course you can use however many fingers and toes to count. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed our counting nursery rhymes today, and we will see you next time. Bye.